Oh, hello. Uh, hello, everyone. Is the audio properly? Let me know if you can hear me. Mm, so hello, my friends. Oh, there are over 14 people watching now. That's so excited about this. My name is Jade. I'm the co-founder in Jade Level. Nice to meet you all here in our first live stream. We are so excited about this live stream. So as I see from the comment that some of you from the US, good morning to the friends in the US and good afternoon to friends in Europe. Yeah, we have rescheduled the live stream. So it's great to have you watching us here. And also it's the evening in Asia. Good evening to the friends in Asia. Welcome to join us in our first live stream. Now let's start. Um, I will give a brief intro for this live stream first. This live stream will last for about one hour. So we will take questions that you ask us and show you the process of setting up J-Level J1. Also show you the live printing. That's the most important part, yeah? And we will pick 13 lucky winners during this live stream um, from the, our newsletter subscribers list and also Kickstarter backers list. And also we will share a live chat topic today and you can join um, to leave comments. Then if you want to know how to be a lucky winner, welcome to visit our latest Kickstarter updates. I'm going to share the link here. So the link I just shared now is for our latest Kickstarter updates. There you will find the ways that you can join us to win the 50 US coupon for your Kickstarter pledges. And now, oh, so many people, hello, James. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Um, and I see make us help Daniel make us help, help us quite a lot he has invited I believe over 20, uh, 300 members to our Facebook group that's amazing and also Richard uh, so will oh you are very active recently and I will thank you for joining us tonight um, some of you may still be new to our team, the j -Level team. So I'm thinking that maybe I should give a brief intro to you before we show in our product. Um, so in brief, we are a group of makers who got tired of low-end 3D printers. And at the same time, we are also 3D printer creators who have made two high quality 3D printers before, before we started the j -Level. So you see that the j -Level J1 is not our first printer. This time, we want to make a more powerful 3D printer and deliver it to all of our supporters worldwide. And you can find the details of our work experience in our Kickstarter campaign page. I'm going to share the link with you now. Here is the Kickstarter campaign page, and I will also share the screen with you so that you will see it clear. Mm. Okay. Oh, a lot of Wait a minute. Now you should be able to see the screen share here is our campaign page. And when you scroll down to the almost the bottom of the page, there is a part called Meet the Team. Um, you can find my profile as well as the other profile for Tinker and Otoko. Otoko is Tom. He's uh, sharing the touch screen group poll recently and Paladin. And you'll be able to click through the projects that we have been heavily participated in 
in our previous jobs, both for the Snapmaker Original and Snapmaker 2.0 3D printers. So we know that in creating the J-Level J1 is uh, IDAS 3D printer with flagship specs. It's um, not like those low-end 3D printer. We know this is not going to be easy and there will be a lot of challenges, but we are confident that we can make this printer a, a super great 3D printer for makers because as we, we just as we did when we were as NetMaker, we also experienced a lot of difficulties, but in the end, we have finally completed the fulfillment for both Kickstarter campaigns. So I believe that we can make this well. And you can check the details here. Um, I will continue the live stream. And now let me welcome the whole team here. Let's welcome the J Level team. <laughs> let me give us a full big screen. Clearly. Okay. So this is Tom. Hello. <laughs> and Tinker. Hello. And Paladin. And May. May is our Hello. designer. And Udong. Oh, shall go. <laughs> yeah. Our Mr. Udong. Yes. This year. It's a big picture. You may have us to take a screenshot <laughs> for this picture. And oh. it's so great to meet you all tonight. Oh, this morning in your time <laughs> here. And now let's continue. Okay. Let me stop the... Actually, we're quite a little bit nervous. This is our first live stream and we really hope that you will enjoy the time So now I'm going to share the live chat topic. Um, in this live chat, we would like to talk about that, why you like J Level J1. So the hashtag is, I like it because, and here I'm sure in the live chat. So we really want to show our thanks to all viewers of this live is so special and we are going to give out some coupons you can join our live chat to win a 50 us dollar coupon the lucky winners will be randomly picked at the end of this live stream and also during this live stream we will pick the newsletter and backers first and be sure to add the tag of like it because in your live comments so that we can record your entry. Otherwise, we will not be able to record them and put it into the link list and then to, for the pick. So can you see the, oh yes. Hello from Nicholas from Belgium. Hello. And Carl, great. So, oh, Joseph, you are the first one. Like it because I that saved much my time virtually cut, create printing time by half. Yes, the duplication and mirror mode. <laughs> okay, Dave said like it because we have used a cat in our video. Oh, Udon, he's so cute. <laughs> and he becomes very popular as well with this project. And so we we'll like it because incredible capabilities for a great price. Thank you, yes. We are trying our best to make the most affordable and also a 3D printer with all the features that we want. We believe that this feature would really help to speed up the printing, the printing process for the makers. Mm. So don't miss out this part. You can continue to leave your comments here and I will have uh, my team member to record this entry. Then we will spin to turn the spin 
in the later part. Now let's continue with this part. Let me share. We are going to have a printer overview. Okay, printer overview. So now let's dive deeper into the J level J1 IDAS 3D printer. Tom, please show us around the printer and I'll give the printer a full screen display. Okay. Good. Can you see or let me see if I can remove myself. But I'm also worried that whether you will listen to me. Oh no. Okay, I cannot leave. <laughs> Otherwise you will not listen to. And so as you can see, unlike most desktop 3D printers design, Jable J1 is uh, beautifully designed. Yeah, as I see it from the screen now, it's on my right side. Tom is giving the camera to show us the... So we want to make the beautifully designed 3D printer that you will feel proud to put it on your desk, just as Chris said to me, I, I remember that. So we're using all metal for the frame. We try to achieve the optimal balance between the functionality as well as the appearance. Um, this may be not seem very commonly in other 3D printers maybe because yeah, you will see that I cannot say those are not beautiful, but I, I love our design. <laughs> okay. It's also rock solid, slick design, and we use this aluminum alloy brine. And also it has carefully finished the details. In addition, you will see that the j J1 is not a kit. It's a fully assembled and tested by our team. So you don't need to worry about the quality of it. Mm. Some of you may have the experience of assembling some low quality 3D printer kits and you'll find that's quite disappointed. We hope that it won't happen in Jailable J1. And we want to use this as a very reliable tool. So we want to make it fully assembled before we deliver it to you. And also now let's take a look at the cover plate. There is a magnetic cover plate. Tom, please yeah, show us how easy to detach also the cover plate. It's magnetically. So you can quickly remove it when you need it. And there is an LED strip inside the printer, as you see it. And hope you will like these features and all these details we made for makers. And let's take a look at the print heads. There are two independent print heads, which is the most amazing feature in J1, the ISN, IDAS 3D printer. As you can see, there are a lot of benefits of using two print heads compared to using single extruder, right? So you can do multi-material printing using water-soluble supports. Also, duplicates or mirror prints with two independent print heads. And now let's take a look at the large touch screen. It's a five inch full color IPS touch screen. And you can easily manage all your prints from the screen directly. If you check out the specs of the screen, screen you will be even more excited since it uses an ARM R Cortex A353 um, processor and it's running on Linux. So it's a seriously powerful touch screen. Uh, okay, I see some of you ask questions. I will go through this part and then I will answer the question later on. And if you have been following us closely in our Facebook group or in our Kickstarter update, 
you notice that we now put the screen outside the enclosure. I know that most of you will feel very excited about this change, but um, some of you will feel a little bit disappointed maybe because you may love to have it inside the enclosure, looks more clean and yeah. But why we take this change is because that we saw we've seen active and valuable discussions in our Facebook group. Now, let me show you. Uh, because, Sir Will, I saw your comment that you said you didn't see the poll. Um, don't worry, let me sh share the screen with you now. Just wait a minute. Mm. So here you should be able to see is the in our group Facebook. So when you so search pool, the group pool, you find that there is a group pool created by Tom. It's about the touch screen placement. You can see that over 100 votes for putting the touch screen outside. Um, because originally we don't have the uh, option for putting it in the center. Then you see there are a lot of discussions. So after that, we review our, we have reviewed our design and talk in details with the followers and then we decide that we need to put the touch screen outside the enclosure to avoid possible issues when you print with temperature sensitive materials. During the print, you may need to open the doors and to avoid, just to avoid those possible issues. Hopefully that it will increase the functionality of this printer. Mm. So please let us know what you think of this latest design. It's a quick demo. So we will continue to finalize and fine tune all the design and settings for this part. Mm. And now let's, let me know if you have any questions so far, because we are going to move to the next part. This is a printer overview. Um, huh. Okay, I will check out the comments. There are a lot of comments, great. Mm -hmm. So, where is that? User-friendly touch interface. Like high quality print, yeah. Okay, now let me share with you. The next part is also something excited that is about the lucky newsletter subscribers. Okay, yeah, that's we are going to pick the first lucky winners in this live stream. Um, I need to share you. There are a lot of screen share tonight. Okay. You notice that the wheel of names. If you have subscribed to our newsletter before we launch our Kickstarter campaign, then you will have the chance to win this. Here I put the, um, the first 1,000 subscribers here because we are going to select five lucky winners. So I will pick every 1,000. We have 5,000 subscribers in total. Let's just click to stream. If you are in the newsletters list, you might be lucky to be the one. Let's see who, so many. Um, yeah, I have deleted the, the full news email address and close, just keep it there. 
we will pick another one later as I need to import the test. Mm. Okay, give me a second. Now let me let us show you how to set up the J level J one for the first print. Mm. So just like any other three D printers you will need to calibrate the bed as well as load the filaments before your first print. And Tom, please show the process of bed calibration on J-Level J1. Okay. I will show you at one more. Okay. Could you guys see the screen clearly? Uh, the winner is, I will share the name later. Okay. Okay, now you can access to the calibration settings with a few tabs. Now we are choosing the auto mode. It will allow you to set the thickness of the glass plate. So some of you may worry that if you change the glass plate, then you will need to, uh, you will be able to set the thickness on the screen directly. And before that, you will need to remove the glass plate. As the calibration procedure we are using in J1 is a new, unique, and novel way to do the calibration. So as we see, it, it is heating nozzle. Um, at, during this time when it's heating the nozzle, I would like to give you a little bit more uh, information about our calibration procedure because this one is something very unique and different from other 3D printers. Okay, oh, you are still talking about the screen. <laughs> so most IDAS 3D printers are difficult to calibrate if you know. Uh, we want to solve this problem No, sorry, that there, there is a call <laughs> because I'm using the phone to rec for this live stream. I believe it's correctly setting is properly now. I can continue, right? <laughs> I'm back. I didn't lost. There is a phone call, sorry. <laughs> we have told our friends to not call us at this time, <laughs> but it's fine. Let's continue. Um, the nozzle is, is heated and now the printer is checking the platform. Um, yeah, so you see that there are several metal part, metal points. There are conductive contact points on the platform. You see it clearly. So the nozzles will touch the metal points on the bed to make the, to register the contact. As you can see, it also explained in an article on OVDP about J level J1. They also feature this unique calibration procedure because it's very simple and repeatable. The print head will touch off against while calibrating. They, we are showing a three points cal, um, calibration. So in this way, you only need to turn the knob on the platform, just turn two, you don't need to uh, turn three points. Mm. So it can be seen as a kind of electromechanical cutout to automate the calibration process. 
you may notice that this kind of calibration procedure doesn't rely on any sensors and it can be even more accurate than those sensor-based calibration. Just let me know if you have any questions on this part and we will go through the comments later on because, yeah. It's the printer face removable. The glass plate is removable. Okay. So you don't need to worry about this because the touch screen will tell you everything you need to do. So you can do it. Everyone can do this, even for the entry level users. Some people asked us that whether jailable J1 is suitable for entry level users. We think that it is because we have made the most difficult parts for an IDES 3D printer to make it as easy to use as those other single extruder 3D printer. That is this calibration part. We have tried to automate some parts of the calibration to also with the clear instructions provided by the touch screen, the whole process can be very easy and intuitive. Okay, Sam asks, is the touch screen moved from all orders now? Mm. Yeah, sure. If, because, um, this is a prototype. We are going to start pilot production right after our Kickstarter campaign. So during the whole Kickstarter campaign, we are all, it's also a process that we are collecting the feedback from our early supporters. So the changes we made at this time will be applied to those all orders that we will produce in mass production. Don't worry about it. And we will make official updates on those changes um we make all the changes carefully so don't worry about that you will receive the printers with all new features all improved features okay <laughs> thank you sam and Oh yeah, Carl said, please leave the video up on YouTube, sure. Because there are still some friends told me that they might miss this live stream because they need to, uh, for other activities. So we will leave the recorded video here so that they can replay after the live stream. Oh, good morning, Carl <laughs> said. You just wake up. Good. Good to see you. And do, do the nozzles have a wide area to clean them before it calibrates? Yeah, sure. Um, okay. Auto print. Yeah, J1 supports auto print. If you like, um, we also have record a mega video. Oh. Let's continue with the calibration. It is finished, so it's very easy. Now we are going to XY calibration. It's for the dual extruder. So if you have checked out the IDES 3D printers review for it, uh, as I remember that one review video from Makers Muse, he has mentioned that the dual extruder calibration is very important, but also quite difficult for the manufacturer, the 3D printer manufacturers to make it right. Um, he has reviewed other IDEX 3D printers and hopefully we can go him to review J1 in one day. If you know him, please recommend him to our printer. <laughs> um, because we are confident that in our design, the XY calibration can be very easy and completely automatic. As you can see, there is also a metal hole in the center of the bed. 
So the nozzle will go to that metal hole and make the contact, the conductive contact. And you don't need to anything. You don't need to do anything manually. All steps will be automatic in this XY calibration. We also we have also shared a video in our campaign page to show the difference between J1's calibration and other conventional XY calibration in other IDAS 3D printers. So you may see that in other IDAS 3D printers, the printer will ask you to print a few lines or even to print a cube, the test print, to let you manually to choose the best offset. So for that kind of procedure, you need a lot of manually tweaking and for an inexperienced users, that's quite not good. Okay, now we are finished the XY calibration. Now, I think we are going to put back the glass plates, yeah. Because you see that there is a glass plate on the heated bed. When we do the calibration, we need to remove the glass plates to make the metal conductive. Okay, now the calibration is finished. Mm. We are going to select the to for our second round of lucky winners. It's about the Kickstarter backers. Just wait a minute because I need to share my screen again. Every time share the screen will take me some little bit mess. Um, I will also need to see how many backers in. Oh, there are. We will see that based on the backer number. Wait a minute. It takes one minute to import the backer number into the wheel of names. Oh, okay, here it is. Uh, I need to move my screen here so that you will see it clearly good. And okay, now I have input 885 because some backers leave the campaign and yeah, the backer number total is 855. Are you ready? Mm, if you have back our Kickstarter campaign, then you be you might be the lucky one. We'll choose five lucky winners in total. Let's speak now. And I will I was in our Kickstarter system to let you know the the backend name. Okay. A hundred and two. Just wait a minute. Let me see who is with the back name. Okay. Yes. I will share it on the on the live share. It will be easier, maybe. I cannot pronounce this name. Peter. Auto sick. Congratulations. We'll continue to pick the other four. Mm. Okay, so we we'll said you are not going, you are not sure where to find your back number. You can find it when you log into your Kickstarter account. Uh, if you still cannot find it, just send me a message, I will tell you. Oh, okay, it's still a eight hundred and 
Oh, no, it shows no backers. So the backer with this number has left this campaign. So I will remove this one and continue. Yeah, just remove it. Still four left. Let's see who will receive the 50 US dollar coupon. Okay, it's the back number of uh it seems it should it should be back us on the lunch day let me share in the live chat this material car seller seller material car seller congratulations i believe that you back us on the lunch day because you have a back number of 273 okay close we have three continue okay oh 500 and Oh, it's a super backer. I think he has back a lot his dog projects. Alexander, congratulations. I don't know whether you are in this live stream. Yeah. If you're here, let us know. Okay. We need to move faster. <laughs> Who will be the next one? Oh, it's probably a, it's probably a luck. Early bird maybe, because 163. I think it's from, oh, it's from Taiwan. It's quite late it's in Taiwan. I don't know whether it's in the Tangshu. I think. Uh, let me see. We have uh, this one need to remove. So one, two, three, four. We still have the last one. The last lucky back. Let's see who will win. Three or oh, one. So we have picked five lucky backers in total. It's from US. Let me share the name here. Timochi J. Wei. Okay. Great. So now we will. I will stop the screen share and continue. Now we are going to show you how to load the filaments on J level J1. Um, still, Tom, I will add the to your screen. Yeah, you can assess the filament changing section from the touch screen. Now we choose 300 degrees. So, Tom is showing you how to insert the filament. You need to push this button and then insert the filament. Yeah. There is a button. So you don't need to push hard. And then do it for the other print head. And then click low filament. Just wait a few minutes. Oh no, it will take very fast, sorry. <laughs> Congratulations to the lucky winners, yeah. Oh, it's so good, BTW. By the way, we are all winners with a 
printer like that. Can't wait to have it. Also sweet. <laughs> uh, cook Dimitri, I remember. <laughs> nice to meet you. We have quite a lot of talk on Facebook, I believe. Great job to Tom. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, viewers, the supporters say that they love the screen and love the UI. Thank you. It's now it's a draft, it's a demo now. We are still need to take time to finalize the uh the copywriting, the passes words on the instructions, a lot of things we need to improve. Okay, even though it's finished, mm -hmm. it's <clears throat> Great, so that's very easy, right? After we load the filament, we are ready to print. So we are going to start our first print. We have transferred the file. We are using the 3D benching, the classic file. So now we confirm. So you can see here, there are several options for printing modes that you can choose from because we have already sliced um, the file in software. We have using the mirror printing, but if you use the third party software slicer, then you can still I mean, that if you generate a G code of a single model, you can still be able to choose to duplicate or mirror your prints from our touch screen directly. I think it is also a unique point in our printer. So now we can print directly because we have already generated G code using the mirror printing mode in the software. Um, Okay, where is the USB port for a thumb drive? Um, okay. Oh, I'll show okay. you the USB port. Yeah. Where is the... Yeah, can you see it? Yeah, we can see it, Tom. Okay, you can insert the USB UTS from here. It's at the side of the printer. Yeah. So, so will <laughs> you ask the question? Okay, put the... mm. Joe says that that's great because he plans to stick with Prusa Slicer. Yeah, it, if you are used, you have the software that you are get familiar with, you can still use that. But continue to using the iDesk features on J double J one with this with this touch screen. Mm. Okay, I might need some of your comments now. While it is heating, let me go through the early comments maybe and see if I can catch up with your comments and your questions. Oh, we have 85 people watching now. That's amazing. Mm. Okay, Michael has asked, what will be the add-on to expect? What will be the add-on to expect? Okay, I can share a few. So um, we are going to provide some add-ons after the Kickstarter campaign while the pledge manager um, we have not yet choosing the pledge manager for this campaign, but probably some to like the backer kit uh, that you are familiar with. So for the add-ons, you might be able to add the engineering um, filaments as well as those regular filaments and also some spare parts for this printer so that we can ship all these things together in one package to you and to help you to save some shipping cost in this way. Let's continue if see there is any other questions. 
um, the display will be aluminum or plastic. Please follow our Kickstarter updates. We will share more details on that because currently it's still a demo. So we cannot um, share too many details on the final design. Also, um, Let me see if you have any questions. I'm good. I'm going checking through the previous comments. Pre boss boss said Z done asked printer have a light? Yes, as you can see there is a light on top of the printer. And also Mm. Can I use a metal PEI to build sheet? Um, no. So we'll provide a glass plate with the PEI surface, but it's not the metal one. And I have, we have shared some uh, our views that why the mesh bed leveling is not suitable for IDES 3D printer. And if you want to go details, you can also join our group to find the topic. So let me see if other questions additional to, in addition to software collaboration, do I do have a report. source of the platform oh yes you need to turn the knob two knobs under the platform manually that's the only manual part and and also in this way uh, how often do you need to calibrate richard asked um well, because now we are showing the steps that you need to do for your first print. So the calibration is not necessary for every, for your every print. It's just need to done. It's necessary for your first print. And also at the time when you think it is needed, but it's not necessary for every print. Don't worry. You don't need to calibrate it too often. So it's Nivi Kaka asked, is the top open even the enclosure version? Um, the top, there is a cover plate and you can remove it. There is a cover plate for both open and enclosed versions. Oh, there are quite a lot of questions. If we miss some questions, then we will also share the answers later in future updates if, because we have limited time in the live stream. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything new questions? Oh. Okay, seems good. Uh, Astro printer. The holes in the frame where the filament comes in is that lined with PTFE tubing? Yeah, we will support the PTFE tube. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So don't worry. Astro printer, you ask these questions. Yeah, we. We answered this question before uh, oh. in the Facebook group. Yeah, I, I remember someone else also asked this question in the group. Slicer software do we use? Okay. 
uh, our software is developed based on QR engine, and you will find um, more information in the campaign page. Yeah, learn, make, repeat that that's true. Mesh bed leveling would not work with two independent extruders that can move independently on X and will cause major issues for each, if each extruder wants to adjust Z based on its own mesh. You're right. You're talking about what we want to share with other backers and followers here. Will you answer, man, Kevin said, will you answer questions on Facebook group? Of course, we have been doing this. <laughs> um, if you are not in the group, okay, I should share the link of our group now. Some of you are maybe not in the group. Okay, this is our Facebook group. I have shared the link. Um, Patrick asked, how do you calibrate the Z height of the two extruders? Okay, um, actually, can you see this one? It's the print head of J-Level J1. It's the front side. And the side, you will see here, there is a dial here. Okay, it's very, it's quite heavy. It's very professional design, also very compact design. So for the Z height calibration, the nozzle height calibration is also a very unique point, unique design in J-Level J1. You can, after you loosen the screw here, just loosen a little bit, as you can see, you will be able to turn the dial here very easily, then you will notice that the nozzle height is cap is adjusting. Very easy, adjustable print heads. And also it's a modular design. You will, when you turn it, you will be able to detach it easily. So you, it's the first thing that we use in a print head. And quite a lot of people love this design. So now you can remove, detach the hot and very easily. And you can also um, put back or change to another hot end and just insert the hot end and you will hear a click and then you just turn the dial in another direction, then it will be fastened and you will be able to change it. Let me know if this one is clear. Then also for this, you can let me continue with your questions. Oh, I missed some. Where the last one? How? Also, David also said, is there a lock on the Z height calibration? Sure, there is um, screws here. So you need to use the Allen wrench. Then you can use this one to loosen as well as to uh, screw up to fit so that you can lock it firmly. It's a mechanical lock. You don't need to worry about its reliability. And Thomas asked, how much will the separate changeable hot ends cost? Because um, we have not yet go to the final price calculation for this part. Um, but I can tell you it's about 
for the whole hot end is about three um let me see 30 us dollar and maybe even cheaper we are, but we are not very sure now trust us it will be very affordable compared to other 3d printers with the same quality okay the lamb asked will the top ever be fully enclosed the top the top of the printer the top of the printer tom please show us you can put back the magnetic cover plates anytime remove it anytime very easily so it's fully enclosed if you have choose the enclosed version okay 3d makers have said that hot end looks high tech thank you we also love this design and it's very popular in in the group discussion i think so it's great to show you in this live stream and also uh -huh. looks very nice actually thank you yeah it, it is very easy even for for me <laughs> okay um wonder water is a one handed nozzle change possible one handed nozzle change possible do you mean that use one hand to change the nozzle or only this part i'm not very sure about your questions but oh if you're asking if it is possible to change the how the nozzle only then the answer is Yes, you don't need to change the whole hot end in most of the time. Generally, in your daily use, you only need to change the nozzle, not instead of the whole hot end. So the nozzle will cost much less. And we will also provide four extra nozzles for free for each Kickstarter reward as the spare parts. um have you thought about uh, okay hinge top one question i'm not very sure about that ask but don't worry if remember if we miss any of your questions we will answer them uh with the test after afterwards oh sorry it's already about one hour so I will ask my teammate if the live chat like it because need to be ended, then I will ask my teammates if he has helped me to record the entries properly, then we will have the last lucky winners pick. Uh, just wait a few minutes. He will help me to finalize the name list and send it to me. Oh, I got the live stream. Wait a minute. Uh -huh, yeah. Uh, so everyone, the like it because activity is ended. Just we need to download the name list and import it to the wheel of names. Wait a minute. We will we will pick three lucky winners from from the live chat who have joined our activity, putting the hashtag of like it because. Um, okay. 
Okay, wait a minute. I'm I'm importing the list. Let me share the screen with you now. Uh, we have, let me see, three of 39. 39. So, can you see? Uh, I believe, yes. Here we have 39 entries. And I will copy it to the field of names. Oh, no. Uh, there are some, let me see. Oh, I can't move anything maybe. Make it clean. Sorry, just wait one minute. Okay, it looks, looks good. 39 inches. Are you ready? So if you have leave your comments with the hashtag like it because I'm going to okay stop now who will be the first lucky winner for the live chat part exciting yeah Joseph Lau okay I will still put the name in the live chat Congratulations. Hopefully you are still in the live stream. Huh. I saw your comment. Congratulations. Okay. We have two left. Lucky. And who will be the second one? Oh, James. I know him. <laughs> James Rook. So, James Rook, congratulations. You will also receive the 50 US dollar coupon for Kickstarter pledges. So don't worry, if you have not yet backed us, you can still back us on Kickstarter. There are three days left and we will refund the 50 US dollar after the campaign ends according to the lucky winners list. Okay, now we have the last one. Last one for the live chat. Exciting, yeah? Mm. Stop now. Who will be the last one for the like it big course? Oh, 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 Scott. Can it be? Okay, stop 3D printing my Mr. Parts. Oh, sorry, I forgot to change the banners. Now we are in the lucky winners from the live chat. I just Focusing on the live stream, I forgot to change the banners showing on the screen. My fault. Um, uh, Modern Crafts, your name is missing, really. Um, we will chat later. If we really miss out, then we can add some lucky winners. But I think that my teammates should have add all the names uh, during this live chat who have used the hashtag of like it because and share with us why the reasons that you like the J Level J1. 
Okay. Um, I will stop the screen share. There are a lot of files on my computer. Wait a minute. Here. Um, before we are going to end this live stream, and before that, I would like to show you the prints that we made at the end of this live stream. It's made using the duplication mode, it's the chest. So we are showing that when you use JLabel J1, you can cut your printing time by half because you can print all the chess, even the chess board using half time. And also, if you have watched our campaign video, you will know that when you print the swing hand pedal, you can also save half time. It's printing using TPU filament. And some other interesting part I'm going to show is this one. Let's see. The helmet. Whatever helmet you are printing, you can also use mirror because you can cut it in half and print it together. So for the latest popular 3D print, uh, the tab also is a 3D printer test print. The torture toaster, okay, this way. It's also printing using mirror. You can find the timeless printing in our Kickstarter campaign uh, update three, I believe. And it's so great that Hotmates also make a contact with us after we print this and share it on social media. And you will be able to, let me show you some details, the print details, the tolerance. Um, you'll find that you'll be able to pull up only the 0 0.1 is well. And you can see the quality in this way. Let us know if and something you cannot do with single extruder that is multi-material printing is um, two colors. In addition to combine different colors in one single print, if something even more practical is prints using different materials for one print section. So for this, we'll use the, here it is the TPU. You see us play the RC car in our campaign video. That's very cool and very practical thing. Something we also feel very proud of that we are making very useful prints for the daily prints. And also for this material support, you can see it's print using the Polymaker PA12 and CF. The quality is looks very good. So for J Level J1, you can use it to print even the engineering filament and print it with high quality. Yeah, when printing this temperature sensitive material, you need to choose the enclosed enclosed version. Uh huh, and another print example for the multiple material printing. Quite a lot. Actually, we have a lot to print. Okay, um, it's almost the end of our live stream. One hour and ten minutes. Maybe I will just another three minutes. I would like to make a call to action. 
back us now on Kickstarter. Yeah, <laughs> we need your support. Let me show you. Oh, it's our. So you will be able to see. Oh, thank you. We have 755 backers now. And we have three days to go for our Kickstarter campaign. Hopefully, if you can support us to reach to 650 US dollar. And let's check out the campaign page ending three days. Udong, 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 udong. And why back us now? Because it is the lowest price. We are offering 35% discount of the MSRP, even though that if you haven't got the coupon, that this is still the lowest price that we could give. And it means that you will save 450 US dollars for the enclosed version. And also it means early delivery. You will receive the drillable J1 a few months before it's available for the retail market. So if you would like to start your YouTube video channel then or to do a review video on J1, I believe backing us on Kickstarter would be a good choice as well. And last, you will be able to get highly involved in the product development of J Level J1 by backing us on Kickstarter. So we can always open to suggestions from our backers as we did for the touch screen placement changement, as well as uh, previously we have the oozing uh, preventing. So we need your support to make the best desktop 3D printer possible. We are confident that we can make it together with the help of this amazing backers. Mm. So for all the details, welcome to check out our campaign page. We have shared a lot of printing demos and videos. And here is the calibration comparison I have sh mentioned during the live stream. Why the calibration in our printer is much easier because you see this one is the conventional type you need to print the test print and then to manual choose or you need to print this one but for j double j1 as we shown you in the live is most of the part is automatically and all the details you will find you will know what will you get if you back us on Kickstarter. Here is the whole list. And full specs here, delivery schedule. So if you back us now, then you will receive the printer in half an hour, half a year. Okay, stop sharing. It's the end of the this live stream. Um, let me see if any comments. Uh, how about a BBS on your main website? Okay, we'll share them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are so many comments. Excited. Um, it's great that most of you stay together with us in the past hour. Hope you enjoy the time. This is our first live stream. I make some mistakes for the screen sharing and there are still several uh, lucky winners for the newsletter sharing because the, the list is too big. I cannot import to the wheels of names. I will do that later and do a screen recording and share it in our newsletter about the other four lucky winners who will win the 50 US dollar coupons. 
And if there is any lucky winner who win all the coupons, then you can use it for your one single pledge. That's exciting. Mm. Hopefully we can do our second live stream. If you like this, be sure to like the video on our YouTube channel because it will let us know that we are doing quite good or you like this type of interaction and communication and we will try to do more. Um, see you next time. So bye bye. Thank you, thank you all. Thank you all for joining us. Be, be sure to back us on Kickstarter if you like this printer and if you like what we are doing. Thank you. That's the end. Oh, I'm also nervous and also excited, happy. <laughs> Keep up the great work. Thank you. Oh, wonderful. So sweet. It's really sweet. Okay, bye-bye. I need to leave the studio. Oh, Brian, <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Okay, see you, bye-bye. I need to, bye-bye.